All right, hello, welcome to the weather update. It is the 27th of March, feeling more like the 27th of January tonight. The Arctic air is back in, and uh, it's quite chilly out there. We even have some snow showers around. There were some snow pellets in the uh, afternoon. We had some snow pellet showers in the afternoon, and then the temperatures kind of dropped after those snow pellet showers came through. Um, looking at the satellite right now, a good deal of clouds, obviously instability cloudiness with this trough over us. Uh, looking at current conditions out there right now, ice slip 34 degrees, and the winds are gusting out there. So the wind chills are down there. We got wind gusts at 26 at ice slip. You can see plenty of 35 mile an hour wind gusts reported at Great Neck, Jersey. Same deal, mid 30s, and winds gusting uh, to 33 there at Lakehurst and and Miller Air Park there west of Tom's River. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a cold night tonight. Uh, looking at Islip right now, 34, dew point 21, and west-northwest wind at 17, gusting to 26. So let's take a, a look at the observations at Islip, and you can see what happened today here. Blue line is the temperature here, and earlier today we were in the 40s, uh, but then uh, as we got into the afternoon, temperatures dropped into the 30s once we got into the late afternoon, 4 or 5 o'clock, uh, as the Arctic air worked its way into the area. Plenty of clouds around the area, not a whole lot of sun, a few peaks here and there. Uh, but not very much. 49 was the high at ice lift. We won't be seeing that for at least a couple of days uh, with the cold air in place right now. Uh, so let's go look at the models, and you can see we've got this big high-pressure system that is coming down. Big Arctic high coming down, uh, and the cold air is just coming straight down from, from, uh, from Hudson Bay. This is Arctic air, actually, so uh, we're going to be dealing with this Arctic air uh, for a few days here. Um, and uh, we move this along, high builds in, uh, tomorrow will uh, be very, very cold, uh, and then uh, with the high crests over area Tuesday, which should bring us more sunshine, and it moves offshore, and that allows that milder air to return right before the month ends with a cold front, and then uh, we have some cooler air returning into the picture again as we head into April. So let's go look at the temperature anomaly uh, for the next coming. You'll see the cold air. Look at that deep those purple colors that means some very much below normal tomorrow will be the coldest day um uh we moderate a little bit on tuesday and then wednesday still going to be chilly uh with the increasing clouds you can see where that warm front is right there you can kind of see that warm air sort of gets in and then behind it more cool air but not quite as cold as what we we're dealing with and then as we had april you can see it sort of stays a little troughy uh right through into the month uh, and that's going to keep those below normal temperatures around. If we look at the jet stream here, uh, you'll see plenty of dips in the jet stream here. Here's the dip we're in now. Uh, and then there'll be another dip, uh, not quite as deep. But you can still see that troughiness a little bit. There's some more as you get in April. So uh, we won't be uh, enjoy We won't be doing, having any spring-like weather. Uh, and enjoy it because, you know, uh, we're going to be sweating before you know it. And, uh, you know, definitely could do without the sweating. Uh, so let's go look at the HRRR right now, uh, and you'll see the scattered instability snow showers we have, the chance of that. Uh, we may Again tomorrow, we'll see that, particularly in the afternoon. Um, and then uh, on Tuesday, we will definitely not see that as much as the high crests over and temperatures aloft rise. We have that steep lapse rate going on. Uh, so let's look at the dew points and winds here. Uh, so you see that strong northwest flow, that dry air coming into the picture there, uh, and uh, blustery conditions tomorrow. Uh, as you get into Tuesday, it'll be less blustery, but you still see that flow remains from the northwest, which keeps us in the cold air. So this is the HRRR model we are looking at. We're going below freezing tonight, uh, be in the 20s by morning. Uh, it's going to feel like the single digits teens with that wind, and then tomorrow... We're probably going to struggle to make it out of the 20, 20s. We might make it to 30. But I think we stay below freezing all day long, um, especially a good deal of clouds. And then the bottom drops out tomorrow night. Uh, the winds will still be up, so I don't think we'll see the radiational cooling. But we could see teens and 20s, so very much below normal. Could even break some records. Yes, actually breaking some cold records for once instead of uh, above normal for once, right? And then for Tuesday... We'll probably make it above freezing again with temperatures in the mid-30s, but still well below uh, normal. And if we want to go a little further than that, um, we'll look at the GFS here. And you'll see as we get into Wednesday, still cold. And with those advancing clouds, 
Uh, you can see this is the warm front right here. Clearly see it, but we're on the cold side of it. So here's the warm front. Draw the warm front for you right here. This is your warm front right here. All right. Um, it may not make it through. All right. So this is the GFS here. And again, if we look at the dew points and winds, uh, you'll see on um, winds do eventually go southerly on Wednesday. And that warm air does eventually overrun our area on Thursday. So Thursday will probably wind up being pretty warm ahead of that cold front. In Jersey, you could get into the mid-60s, maybe near 70, Long Island. A little cooler than that. Cold front moves through, and then uh, we go back to around average. This is more normal for this time of the year with highs around 50 degrees. And then as we get into the weekend, uh, you'll see it's, it cools down a little bit again here. So it won't be, we won't see that many warm-ups. Uh, looking at the long range as we get into next week again, uh, temperatures will actually be a little bit below normal. A couple of warm surges here and there, uh, but generally temperatures remaining in, uh, below normal uh, through much of April. Uh, so let's go look at the sky cover, and uh, obviously GFS doesn't really give the best resolution for that. Um, as we uh, look at uh, tomorrow, you'll probably have a good deal of clouds. Tuesday will be the sunniest day, and then more clouds for Wednesday. And Thursday, and then maybe Friday we get out of it. I don't really want to go any further than that because the accuracy that far out is not the best. Let's go look at the RGM right now, uh, RGM model, and you'll see it's actually a little less on the clouds tomorrow. We may actually have some more sun, but uh, I'm thinking we'll see plenty of clouds around in and out. You know, there may be some sun in the morning, but then you're going to have that instability uh, cloudiness develop in the afternoon with a possible snow shower. Could be some cool looking skies, though, um, with some Virga. Uh, which is what you get with Arctic air. And then uh, as we get into Tuesday, that's when we should have a mostly sunny day uh, across our area, and it should be a, a nice sunny day, but still cold. And then Wednesday, we'll be dealing with those, that over, uh, the overrunning cirrus, but it, it won't be uh, an overcast, cloudy day completely. You'll still have some sun. Uh, so uh, we can also look at the NAM model as well. The sky cover, definitely not enough of that 0Z model in. Uh, but here is uh, the NAM model, uh, and you'll see, again, starting off with the sun, in the morning perhaps and then uh, more clouds as you get into the afternoon uh, and then as far as Tuesday goes that'll be your mostly sunny day again but chilly and then Wednesday we'll be dealing with some more cirrus uh, but other than that yeah, we got some below normal temperatures on the way for a change and possible again record lows let's see if the weather service is discussing this at all potential for record lows tomorrow night um, uh, they are not, but uh, there, there is a chance that we might see some record lows. So the Arctic air, definitely in place. Enjoy it for those of us who like it, like yours truly. Get out there and enjoy it. Uh, for, you know, before you know it, like I said, you'll be sweating. In a month, we'll start dealing with the heat. And uh, yeah, and I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather be cold than hot. Sorry. <laughs> That's going to be it for this weather update. Take care and thanks for watching.